Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's time to do another walkthrough. I've got this camp ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the tour of it. Kind of some lighter colors, very bright in here. Turned out nice. It's a blizzard outside, so I might just glance over the exterior, kind of show you what it is, give you some specs on it, and then we'll step back in here and do a little tour of the inside. So stick with us and we'll show you what's going on. Well, the snowstorm has let up just long enough that I think we can cover everything on the exterior of this camp. This is going to be an X30 camp, so a 24 foot box, um, eight foot interior, 102 inch exterior as far as width. You're about 11 and a half feet tall to the top of the highest point, which on this one would be the air conditioner. This one does weigh in right at 10,000 pounds, 10,040 to be exact which is pretty standard for this size camp. Um, the layout's a little bit different in this one, got a lower bed and stuff, but that's pretty well what you're gonna come in at. This one has the 7,200 pound axles, 16 inch rim with 10 ply tires. Um, he did add the awning, the air conditioner, um, extra batteries, the heated tanks. But really, other than that, the exterior of this one's pretty standard. So we're going to go in and I'll give you some of the details as far as colors and everything in there. So let's go in. I know you guys are probably all thinking all we build is Brazil wood cabinets. Well, I admit, I'm excited to tell you that the next three camps that you see will not be Brazil wood. So um, you'll get a little change. This one has what's called an Asian sand on the walls. The cabinets are a Brazil wood. And then spring carnival countertops. And this is a country oak flooring. With the chocolate brown recliners. So that's our color combinations. As you can see, a little different layout here. We've got the queen size lower bed. Um, the recliners, this one does have the center console, so that's an option. And depending on how your camp lays out, sometimes we got a lot of room that we can work with and we can do a number of different things. Sometimes you might be a little more compact if you decide you want a smaller camp to where, yeah, we can do this center console. This does have the charge port for your magnetic phone charge. Um, it's got the lift up console. And then these do recline. They pretty well lay down flat, so I don't, I don't know that I'd have a hard time sleeping in one um, if you did need to sleep someone. We've got overhead storage on both sides of this one, so they did want a little bookshelf on the footboard. And then they also wanted the headboard as well. Entertainment package. So this is set up to where they can um, do satellites, really whatever they want as far as streaming videos and stuff. They didn't do the TV in this one, but it is wired. We wire all of them for it. And then you do have all your charge ports and everything, charge phones. We've got the fantastic fan and the forced air furnace. And they've got a big storage area underneath here that opens up. And then a little entertainment center here with a couple drawers and open area in the center. And then some cabinets on the side that open up. We've got the wood burning stove cranking. It's been about, we're going to reach single digits and even into the negatives this week. So. This little stove sure is nice. A 
lots of overhead storage this one does have a ton of counter space so as you can see this one has the range on the opposite side of what it normally is and then they wanted to do the deep single sink stainless steel all stainless steel fixtures your wood box storage and you've got a spot for pots and pans some drawers and then on this side it has a pull-out bar and then look at all that counter space some big open areas underneath the pull-out bar to where they can put bar stools if that's what they're planning on or just a lot of storage more drawers like I said, they did add the extra battery so that they could do the inverter. This is nice if you want to run your microwave, um, outlets, anything like that. Makes it nice. You don't have to plug in, don't have to run your generator. Um, kind of a nice option for that. Does have our monitoring system as well as the heated tanks and your water heater, water pump. And then you have your propane gas light. overhead storage this one does have a ton of storage in it pull out pantries both top and bottom so you have a second one below there microwave with the air fry Stainless steel, fridge, freezer, combo. And then two giant drawers beneath the closet. Lots of hanging space. But yeah, look how big these drawers are. Put a lot of gear in there. check out the bathroom this one has the 32 inch shower pan your medicine cabinet with your mirrors little vanity sink some drawers with your cabinets that open porcelain toilet and like I say, this is a 32 by 32 shower. With the stainless glass door. And then your frosted window. And your exhaust fan for in there. So that's a quick overview of what this camp looks like. As always, I'd love to hear what you think of this one. Um, if there's anything in specific that you want me to go into more detail with, I do have a couple videos. I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to comparisons, how these compare to other products that are on the market, RVs in general. So I'm going to do a couple videos as far as comparisons um, on insulation values things that way what it means in use because that's a thing we can do a lot of things and if it doesn't equate to any performance gains then is it really worth it so we're going to do some comparison videos if there is anything that you guys would like me to compare or show you more in depth on how we do things here at peak mountain camps i'm happy to do so um i'll give you whatever you want so Anyways, we appreciate you for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. Share the videos. It helps us get our product out there. So, thanks.